Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day, both of you. Enjoy yeah. yourself. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Hey guys, today is the 6th of September, it's a Sunday, Sunday morning, just at the Pungal area, uh, doing a coast to coast run from north to south. Uh, only just started, just exited Coney Island. We're on a park connector on the way down to the Serangoon area, I think. Yeah. And uh, I am woefully underprepared, but the expert behind me with the Solomon backpack. <laughs> 20k to go. 20k to go. I should have uh, prepared better, but this is beautiful. Good weather. So we're now in Hogang, part of the world that I've not never been in, but we're trying to find out where we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere around there. Yeah, cross this and then kind of right there. We'll figure it out. We'll and so far we've done one hour 11.85 kilometers. Now on the Jalan Pelikat uh, Park Connector, um, about 12.8 k's in. On the right track so far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're not completely lost. Hard. We're yeah. not in Malaysia. <laughs> yeah, looks like we're we're on the right track. So it looks like this is a very nice uh, residential part of town. So we just stopped off for a drinks break, uh, some 100 plus uh, from one of the coffee shops and this hawker center um, in Nih Jalam Pelikat is super busy and the time now is about 8.30 in the morning. Here you can find all the fruit stores down below and also some noodle shops up above serving the congee. Uh, roast duck, roast pork, people having coffee. So cheap, three dollars. So the name of this hawker center we just found out is the Hogang Hainanese village center and again it's only 8 30 in the morning but it already it's uh, very well patronized so i feel like we're really having the singaporean adventure taka today yeah we're now okay Srin avenue Srin avenue we're getting to upper serangoon road definitely having the full-blown residential singaporean experience right now that's fantastic, I think. Mean, what do you think? The weather is not too bad. It's yeah. nice and a bit cloudy and overcast, so the sun's not beating down. Um, After the rainy days, you know, you have a little bit more cooling down on the road. Definitely. Yeah. It's been great. Exactly. So we're entering Braddle Heights Estate. So I guess we've been discussing recently kind of some favorite running routes. Hataka, in your time in Singapore, I guess, what's kind of been your go-to running routes? Yeah, I always run the either, there are three routes I always go to. One is always go to the, the starting from Tanjung Pagas, go to the Marina Base, go to the Kalan River, and then come back 15k route. Yeah. I also go to Mount Teba, that's one of my favorites. When you don't have much time, you're just going up to the Tebas, going to Henderson Wave, coming back, it's a 10k ride. Yeah. 10k run, that's amazing. The other one, which I recommend, in especially with this, uh, the Sentosa run. So, you know, you go to the Sentosas, 
going to the beach, go back in the falls and then come back. That's a 15k ride. Yeah. Is that a great, great, yeah. Yeah. Great to get out of the, the wild and just to relax and enjoy the bit of the nature in Singapore. Exactly, and I guess today, September 2020, we're now exploring unknown, uncharted territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah. We're in uh, Potong Pasir area. Again, another uncharted part of Singapore. Yeah, yeah. But it's been great. Uh, we're about 18.8 kilometers in. Feeling yeah. a little fatigued. Yeah. Haven't done this kind of a long run for quite some time yet. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's great to kind of just see some kind of unique architecture. Right. Unique kind of paths that we, are, well, certainly I haven't uh, been to before. Um, yeah, really enjoying it. Good weather. Can definitely start to feel the heat, I think. Yeah, Just yeah, about yeah. Short, short short while ago. Um, are the legs getting heavy? Legs, calves are feeling a little fatigued, quads. Uh, my knees, I, well, I didn't tell you earlier, but my knee, right knee was a little bit playing up. Right. But uh, it's kind of, after a few hundred meters or a few kilometers of easy running, I think it's kind of ironed out itself. Right. But um, no, feeling okay. Uh, definitely keen and determined to get through to the coast to coast run, not coast to Kalam area. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, how many more to go? Well, we said we would, uh, the route that we saw your friend doing was 25 kilometers. So, uh, given the number of slight detours, understandable completely because we were looking at the maps, maybe about 30 kilometers all up. So, we've got about just another 11 k's or so to go. Yeah, so, uh, just another 11. Just another so, 11. it's all, all in the mind. A few mind games, kind of. Uh, and trash talking will get us through to the end. Okay. So according to my watch, we've just passed the half marathon mark yeah. um, and approaching Kalang. Doing well, Taka, I reckon. Just the others. Just the others. Very nice. Time for pace. Yep. The area that we're approaching is actually, it's called Kalang and it's actually where the old airport, I'm not sure if it's Singapore's first, but definitely the old airport of Singapore used to be located before um, they built the one out at Paya Lebar and later the one at Changi. Um, so now, uh, as we'll see in a couple of minutes, oh, they've converted it. The NBS over there. Exactly, kind of, they've redeveloped this whole area into, I guess, places for us folks to go running. <laughs> nice paths. Very peaceful. We were just commenting how quiet it is. Oh, perfect for a Sunday morning, right? Now we're just seeing the MBS. MBS. Yeah, everything close. It's kind of like music to our ears because we're quite fatigued. Well, I'm not yeah. sure about talking. He looks pretty fresh. Yeah, yeah. But definitely I'm quiet, quite yeah, fatigued. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 27.21 kilometers in and we're almost there. This water coming up is a sight for sore eyes. We're at the south side of Singapore now, having started from the north up in Pungo. We're down now at uh, Marina Barrage, which fronts uh, Marina Bay Sands and Gardens by the Bay. Well done, Taka, how are you feeling? It's good. Ah, the last 5K was very tiring. Mental battle. Yeah, almost about to reach the end. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I think like Tucker said, last 5k, maybe 10k for me was a kind of test of mind over matter, mind over body. But uh, good to finally get a coast to coast yeah, thing yeah. on the CV, Taka. Uh, very, can be very proud of that. Yeah. Um, it was a great, just uh, three hours. Yep. Yeah, starting from seven, now finishing up at 10. Yep. Yeah. Having catch quarter, um, Caught a grab up to Pungo Point, started there. Weather was initially overcast, quite cool. Uh, but now it's um, still a little overcast, but the sun is coming out from behind the clouds and definitely can feel, feel the full force of the, the heat. So good to kind of finish up at this time. The thing about Singapore is that we have good refreshments at the end of the run. And this is one of our favorites, uh, 100 plus and fresh coconut. Very refreshing. Refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. Get some meat as well. Yeah. Yeah. So good to get it out on Sunday. And the best thing is we started out at seven. Now it's about ten fifteen. And yeah, you have the rest of the day to either do some work or um, watch a movie or something. Netflix. Okay, 
so much. And to cap it off, we have carrot cake, popia, taka ordered. What's this? Egg prata. Egg prata. Yeah. Alright, looking forward to the next one.